it was well documented that 777 partners' last opportunity to gather the necessary funds to buy the toffees was approaching, and yet we have never seen so little of them. There were no appearances at Goodison Park to try and create a strong facade, nor was there another large and desperate injection of money to try and make the club more dependent on their services. By all accounts, John Wander and company have much bigger fish to fry than buying a football club in England, such are their internal financial difficulties. So with their main suitor fading into oblivion, it was refreshing to see John Texter of Crystal Palace making a claim to acquire Everton. Alan Myers provides a new update on John Texter. Well, the latest news about his efforts to acquire the club comes courtesy of Alan Myers, who once again sought to inform fans about the most important current events happening in and around Goodison Park. However, when it comes to acquisitions, there is probably no more important update. After all, Farhad Moshiri has proven what weak leadership can do to a Premier League club that was once stable and secure, regressing it to within an inch of its life in just seven years. But with Texter's claims, this seems set to come to an end, as Myers wrote for the first time. John Texter, co-owner of Crystal Palace, is stepping up his bid to buy Everton and is considered the favorite to purchase Moshiri's stake. Texter told The Athletic over the wee weekend that he would be interested in buying the club and that he was trying to sell his stake in Palace. Then, claiming that the American is not the only one showing interest in Everton, a fan questioned whether he would make this bid alone or in a consortium. The Sky Sports reporter responded, My understanding is that he is buying the club. Well, as 31st May finally draws to a close, so does this miserable saga involving 777 partners and their desperate attempts to buy Everton. The Miami-based company has been scrutinized from the first minute by many inside and around the club, and in the end, their dubious practices and lack of financial support proved crucial as they tried for nine months and ended up with nothing. Now we await Textor's bid, although there are still many barriers to his entry. He will first need to sell his stake in Crystal Palace before he can move to the Premier League and then overcome any other potential suitor who might emerge after the expiry of 777 Partners exclusivity deal. It won't be a bed of roses, but at least it marks the eventual and much needed end of a saga that consumed the entire Premier League season and brought no rewards. As usual, leave your like and share this video with your friends.